okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be discussing more on the types of silicates so let's get started with the same types of silicates types of silicates okay so first one is ortho silicate okay so when only one basic tetrahedron unit is present in silicate then it is named as ortho silicate when only one tetrahedron unit is present in silicate then it is named as ortho silicate okay so for example if we have SiO4 4 minus so this is a ortho silicate okay second type of silicate is pyrosilicate so when one corner oxygen atom is shared between two units then pyrosilicates are formed when one corner oxygen atom is shared between two units then pyrosilicates are formed okay so if you draw the stru structure of the same then it will look something like this I'm drawing the top view here so this is the silicon atom then O minus then we have one more O minus linked to this SI atom. We have one oxygen atom linked to this SI atom, and which indeed is linked to another SI atom. So we have one shared oxygen atom between two units of silicates okay this is an example of pyrosilicate and general formula of pyrosilicate is si o 3 plus half 2 minus rather 3 minus not 2 minus okay so if you look at one of the examples then we have si2o76 minus is one of the examples next type of silicate is cyclic silicate So in cyclic silicates when two corner oxygen atoms of each basic tetrahedron units are shared with adjacent units and they undergo in cyclic form then cyclic silicates are formed. So when two corner oxygen atoms of each basic tetrahedron unit are shared with adjacent
units and they undergo in cyclic form then cyclic silicates are formed okay so if example of the same is we can have something like this So this is an example of a cyclic silicate. Okay. Which is in trimer form. Okay. Next let us see one more example which is in tetramer form. if we have something like this structure and then one more oxygen atom connected here one more oxygen atom connected here another oxygen atom connected here okay so this is the tetramer form okay Next, let us see hexamer form. So, I'll be drawing the hexamer form here. We have oxygen arranged, oxygen atom arranged in the form of hexagon like this. Okay, and then at the center we have silicon atoms which will be in again 6 in number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and again on top of it we would also have a oxygen atom okay one would be here and here next let us connect them with the bonds So all are connected. Let me draw them nearer to each other because of the constraints of the space we have. Okay, yeah. So everyone, every oxygen atom is connected now to the silicon atoms and vice versa. So now let's complete the structure. This is the hexamer structure of cyclic silicate or hexamer form. Okay, so this is the hexamer form.
okay so general form of cyclic silicate is SiO3 2 minus okay and whole n and here should be greater than equals to 3 so it, it is Si n O3 n 2 n minus okay so example can be S6 O18 then we have 12 minus here and a concrete example is BE3 AL2 SI6 O18 okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be continuing on seeing more on the types of silicates so till then good luck and good bye